everybody. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to do a manual atomic time signal reception using your Casio G-Shock GWB 5600 watch. This is module 3540 by Casio. This is the Charles Darwin Finch model. It's kind of a tricky watch. It's kind of a cool watch because it's got so many different ways you can set your time. You could do it manually just like any other quartz watch. It also has Bluetooth connection, so you could use the Bluetooth feature to connect to your cell phone and set your time that way. Uh, as a flip, you could go to your cell phone and try and send a time signal over to your watch instead of doing it from your watch to your cell phone. And then it's also multiband six. So every night at midnight, if you have that feature turned on, it should try to connect to a uh, time location and set the time using the atomic feature. But just like other Casio watches, you could always go manually do it. And that's what we're gonna be doing in this video. It's kind of tricky. This bottom right button is what we're using. If you press the bottom right button, it will basically connect to your cell phone and record your date, time, and location using the GPS on your cell phone. So we don't want to press the bottom right button. We want to press and hold it. You'll notice after a couple of seconds, it'll go into our receiving mode. Now just a caveat, you're going to see REC. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit for you. You can see this blinking indicator letting you know it's trying to pull the atomic signal. If we get a success, it will show the time up here. If we don't get a successful pull, we will see error here. I'm indoors. I'm nowhere near my window, so we're probably not going to have any luck. At the bottom, you can see your signal strength. L1, L2, and L3 are your valid values. Ideally, you would have an L3. That's your highest signal strength in my case. Unfortunately, I only have an L1, so we probably won't have any success here. Now I've got an L2, so maybe we'll get lucky. To pull the atomic signal A, you have to have your home city set correctly because your home city is going to determine which signal location it's trying to connect to. The other thing is some locations are not eligible to pull an atomic signal because they're too far from one of those time locations. So if you're too far away, unfortunately you can't use the atomic feature. I am in range of it, so hopefully maybe we'll get a success. One of the negatives about this watch is you can't look and see when you last successfully pulled an atomic signal like you can with other watches. So for example, while this one's pulling, I've got the uh, 3495. If I press the bottom right button on this watch, it shows me when was the last time it successfully pulled a signal. For me, that was on the 12th of, November, of uh, January. On this watch, unfortunately, if you wanna see your last successful pull, you have to go to your cell phone to look at that information. You can't see it on the watch. So we're going to hold out here for a minute. This process can take anywhere from two to 10 minutes. Wow, so it took about four minutes, but we successfully got a time signal. You'll notice the OK up here, and then you can see that R, uh, RCVD received has stopped blinking, and it let us know we pull a time signal. Again, the negative, though, is it doesn't store the date of that successful signal on your watch. You would have to look at your cell phone in the Casio Watches app to see that. All I'm going to do now is I'm going to simply press the bottom left button, and we've successfully pulled our manual time signal. This watch, just like many other watches, if you see RCVD when you grab your watch in the morning, that tells you that that prior night or earlier that morning, it successfully pulled the atomic signal. If you don't see that value on the watch, it means one of two things. Either you have the atomic feature turned off or it was not able to successfully pull a signal for that day. But again, you could always manually do it using the steps I just showed you. As always, I hope the video helps. Thanks for watching. 